I had a um, constituent call me the other day, and he said, you know, Keith, I've heard some things about this Trans-Pacific Partnership, and I'm concerned about it. Uh, you need to send me a copy of that bill. <laughs> of, course, of course, I cannot do that, because I've never seen it. Like if, if they show you the bill at all, they show you a, one little title of it, and then you can't have staff, you can't take notes, you can't do anything. <coughs> this is an invisible process. Each one of us represents somewhere in the neighborhood of 700,000 people. And so when we're standing in front of you, we are representing whole communities, several cities. I represent 15 cities, Minneapolis being the biggest one. And these people who sent me to Congress expect that I will make decisions that are going to help them and they're going to stop bills that are going to hurt them. And there is no way in the world I could support Fast Track advocating my responsibility, my authority as a member of Congress without being very clear on every single comma in the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and I have not seen it. If it's so awesome, let us see it, but we can. So we are going to stop this thing. We are going to oppose it. We have a coalition to stop it. And I have yet to hear anybody who was for this bill come forward and say, this is a great thing and it's going to be very different from NAFTA, and here is exactly why. That has not happened yet, so I am incredibly suspicious, and I am honored to be joining with my colleagues in and outside of Congress to fight faster. Thank you. Thank you.